In this tutorial, we'll look at what is this meta tag. HTTP equif x UA compatible content is IE is edge. So in Visual Studio Code, if you create an HTML boilerplate, you can write HTML and pick the second option, press tab. You're going to get this HTML boilerplate and you're going to see some meta tags here. So the second one is a bit of a strange one. It says meta HTTP equivalent x UA compatible content is IE edge. And this is actually, actually has to do with Internet Explorer. It's actually a very old um, tag and you can leave it out unless you need to support very old legacy browsers like older versions of Internet Explorer, right? So in that case, you're going to have to read up on this. Basically, what this does is it tells Internet Explorer um, in what mode your page should be rendered. When Internet Explorer is, is going to analyze the um, HTML and when it sees something like this, HTTP uh, equivalent, XUA compatible, it's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to look at... Um, what mode that page should be rendered. And here we're saying it should be uh, Internet Explorer is Edge. This means it should render it according to the latest, like uh, most up-to-date standards. And so actually it will start again. And actually it's a performance hit in that case. Um, but this could also be another version, right? So maybe you only want to render this page as if it were uh, Internet Explorer 7, for example, like an older version. And it's going to render the page in a different, uh, according to a different uh, standard, basically, or different mode. Um, it's basically, it's not really important to understand this. You can even leave it out unless you really need to support like older versions of Internet Explorer. In that case, you're going to have to read up on this because you're going to, you, you could set it to different settings anyway. The other ones, by the way, the other meta tag. So this one has to do with the character set, right? So if it sees like a character like this, like what does it mean? Well, it's according to this character set, right? So it's going to interpret these characters according to that character set. And the other meta tag actually has to do with responsiveness. Um, this is actually quite the most important one, I think, because if you try to make your page responsive without this tag, um, you're going to run into all sorts of bugs. So this also has to do with whether the user can uh, zoom in or out whether the page should automatically zoom in or out. Uh, typically, this is the best setting that you can have. Any modern web developer will have this type of setting in the HTML. By the way, if this was helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. Also, check out my courses on CSS and JavaScript if you want to take those skills to an advanced level. Because in there, we will build some beautiful real-world projects from scratch so you can see how everything fits together and really master CSS or JavaScript. And I will also release other courses soon like React and Node.js. So if you want to be notified then make sure you are subscribed to the email newsletter you can find the link in the description thanks for watching and i hope to see you soon